I'm excited to do anything with you. you okay. Because I love you. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday morning. Welcome to another episode of On Display. Uh, I have a great guest with me today. Um, yeah, one and only. The- Next time, you got to tell me where to go. I, just go, I go show up in Ridgewood. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Joe went to my studio this morning. Yeah. Instead of coming home, I, I brought my stuff home today to do it at home. And he thought That's we, were, we were in stuff Ridgewood. Home. I'm running around like a maniac. I'm on a conference call. I got, I'm got. i loading up insulation at the same time. We can't find this insulation right now. It's like I'm back order. So these big bundles of insulation, they're so heavy, but 180 pounds each. I'm rolling them. I'm on the phone. I'm, rolling, I'm hurrying up. I'm sweating i get in a truck i tie everything down i'm driving to ridgewood i run up the stairs because he's got this office up the stairs there the door is locked yes the door is locked and then he calls me he's like i'm here where are you i'm like yeah i'm home we're doing it from home today not my office let's be nice man i tell you yeah uh sorry but mm-hmm. i just assumed you knew this stuff has been sitting here in our dining room for a minute like you I didn't don't even, you think i pay attention to anything you didn't I use your head. I, when I walk home, I walk in like a zombie. I'm so exhausted. The only thing I look for is two things, food and my wife. Mm, what about your kids, bro? You can't, like, forget about them. Oh, How about one. them? You are number one. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's see? schmoozing me for some reason. You guys are going to hear so many noises in the background between the dog barking, the construction going on on our house. There's construction going on in the front, in the back. I hear saws. My my housekeeper was just pounding the chicken because I taught her she really needs to like pound it out or it's not good. So no, I just told her pretty decent. No, you told her too. I heard her pounding it. Like she was just doing it very lightly. Right. So I walked over and I started, I pounded. She, that was you banging it. Like she's scared. She got scared. Cause I like, I knew it. I was like, she jumped up. I go, no, this is how you do it. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Like I'm like, damn, she's really pounding the chicken in there. Holy shit. I wish we would have videoed that. Cause she was so lightly. She was like, dang. Cause she's sweet and nice. And like, no, yeah. Like we're actually pretty anal when it comes to food. And like, we kind of like to do it ourselves, but obviously I'm busy all the time. So like, if I can get some, to pound out the chicken for me, get it nice and tenderized. I'm gonna use a little help these days. You know what I like to pound out. All right, Joe. I knew you were gonna say that. I had an I had a feeling, <laughs> and that is hard. But you leave that I open. You my, leave it. There's open. a lot of people listening. You should speak that way. Oh my you know, god. Have a little. This is my thing. You're as, looking good. Even as though you get older, even, and I'm gonna say men because I'm yeah. noticing it with a lot of like my friends' husbands too. I feel like you guys get like immature it's like weird like i feel like women truly mature and men because you're old you guys get old and boring i mean men try to oh live my God, life. don't even say they those do. words don't you get that's... boring i mean oh, well you want sex again yeah what the hell oh my God. Wait, i wasn't or, talking about let's sex. go have a good time oh you're t- let's have another drink no oh my god it's time for bed no it's not time for bed yes it bed is. is when we die and we go to sleep oh my forever. god let's i just want to know like you when know? joe gorga is gonna lose his energy never <laughs> Or just like yeah. a little bit of it, a yeah. little bit of it. Nope, nope. You have yeah. so much energy, you're exhausting. See, like, they, they get, is... see, they get. Bo- Why do women get boring in life? They Why? don't. Don't say I'm boring. I have a lot of energy. No, There's no. everyone says I'm like a superhuman. Listen, I live for today, and I live for life, and I work very hard, so I like to live and enjoy myself. And when I come home and I see my wife, I like to like spend time with her the right way, right? This is what we have to do. And what, what if I was born? Okay, but don't lie. You would be don't, bored. Don't lie. When you come home during the week, we eat dinner and we take showers, right? And then we pretty much get on the couch and like talk to our kids. We have dinner with the kids. They're like moving in and out and about. You get one kid pop up. The other one pops up. One disappears. The next one comes in. We're watching. We're watching TV. Oh, this week uh, we watched really good. Oh, before oh. we get into what we watch this week, I just want to tell everybody that when you're listening to this right now, okay, because I know you guys, the, the podcast drops every Thursday morning, right? So while you're listening to this right now, just know that I'm about to have the worst day of my life. It's reunion day everybody it's reunion day mm. so just know that while you're listening to this i'm currently in hair and makeup most likely if if you're listening early i am i'm in hair and makeup it's two and a half to three grueling hours of hair and makeup and 
the Two stress. Th- three hours of hair, makeup, and I show up. And just the way I look. Day. But the stress but of no makeup. The stress of it all, guys, is just such a stressful, stressful, crazy, crazy day. And they're gonna separate us and put us all into like these cubicles where we get hair. Well, actually, we'll get our hair and makeup done probably in our hotel rooms. And then and then we'll end up all meeting up at the spot and like put our dresses on there. Um, we are filming it this year in New York City. And it's stressful. I know you guys have been watching. I know you guys have been watching the season and it's it's a doozy, right? It's a crazy one. So I just feel like there's yeah, so. It sucks. You know what? Last year, all the men were together in a room. We had a good time. This year, they're going to separate us. And oh, when, for sure. I mean, come on, man. When, when, and I don't when think they're going to encourage you guys having like an alcoholic beverage this year. Like you should have not like it's so serious, which is unfortunate. To be honest, it's unfortunate that it's like so serious this year and so like down to business more than like come on it's a reunion i mean it's never fun but like for you guys i feel like it could be fun well really never you when is reunion never had fun let's be honest when is a reunion ever fun never Uh, no you literally have to rehash everything that's gone on for the last year yeah and mostly negative i mean of course a lot of like they'll hit our personal stories too and they'll be a little positive but mostly like so you said this explain it we're gonna have to explain pizzagate right for sure today we will be explaining pizzagate from top to bottom Uh we'll be explaining that little meetup that you had at your sister's house, right? That like we're gonna explain what happened there. I mean, this is a big day. This yeah. is like a big day to like get everything off our our. Yeah, everyone chest. doesn't didn't understand why I was so upset for so long, and just a lot of things that accumulated, and uh, not upset, hurt, hurt, upset, um, confused, confused is a big word. Really, I was. Um, I just think you're going to get it off your chest. We all are. We all are. There's a lot of people who have a lot of things to say. And this is the time when you sit back and you focus and, you know, so like, I don't drink, you know me, I don't drink coffee after four, after three, I would say after two, 3 PM. If I drink, if I drink a couple, stop saying that. See, I drink coffee at seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night and I can, and I can go right to sleep. Okay. Most people can't. Young, young, I'm strong. You're not really young. You're actually much older than me. So there's that. Get older. You start, I used to say things and make a lash. She's like, oh, that's so funny. When we first started hanging out and, you know, 10 years in now, she's like, oh my God, when are you going to stop? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Now, if we got divorced, right? If we got divorced and she met some other guy and she was alone for a year, or whatever, she was meeting these scumbags and dirt bags, and all of a sudden this guy comes and says, he would probably say the dumbest thing. He'd be like, Oh my god, it's so funny. It's Ladies, so hang out with me, take me out to dinner. I need a How companion. did we get out? I was talking about the reunion. <laughs> I just, I just want to say, like, I was having a full blown conversation about oh the stressful. God. And then and then he like, you know, I I get her in a car, I, I put my hand on her face and I look at her, I say, You're so beautiful. I, I caressed her cheek and I go give her a nice kiss. And she looks at me like Oh, no. like, it, like nothing, like really, like it doesn't mean anything. Like I would put my, I would put my hand on your cheek and give you a kiss or I'd grab your hand I'd, or I'll hug you tight and I'll bring oh. you and I walk with you and you're like, oh my God, the way he grabbed basically, me. Basically, first of all, we need to get back to reunion talk because that's what we were on. But basically oh. what you're trying to say is people who date are more susceptible to like being groped than people who are married for 20 years. Yes, that's probably a fact. Anyway, back to reunion. Yeah. Okay, back to reality. Uh, how do you back feel? How do you feel? Because when everyone's listening to this, we will be heading to reunion. Like we are at the reunion. So yeah. how do you feel? Well, it's not, Without I'm, getting I'm, too I'm, deep. Honestly, we we, we don't want to get too deep here. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of the too deep. I got to be honest with you. I got to get back to our fun, loving, happy selves instead of like dealing with the drama because I'm not into this deep crap anymore. I get anymore. it. I get it. But, but. Things are deep and, and I hate drama, you know, and I've always, I always am the guy that allows people to shit on me. I do. Cause I don't get involved. I'm, I'm secure myself and, and I don't want to fight. So I'll let people say things about me and I'm like, ah, I blow it over. I'm like, who cares? Yeah. I don't like to talk about the, you know, uh, negative. So, um, I don't know. It just is reunion. You think Andy's like- going to lose his cool at this room? Remember last reunion? Like he went nuts. And I'll tell you why he went nuts because Margaret, Jennifer, and I think even Teresa, they were screaming so loud that like 
and they wouldn't stop. Like neither of them would let the other one speak. He lost his shit. I Patrick. hate that. Were I, you out there when he did? Yeah, or no? I hate. What I like is when you, go ahead, you got something to say about me. Talk, go, speak. speak, say it, and then let me finish. Then not let me talk. Right. That's what I want. You know, don't do that. Because you know what they do? They like to deflect. So but while you're saying something, they loud. They, if they get louder and they fight it and it goes away. Right. There's a, there's I, a system to this shit, you know, and these girls are very good at it. Yes. The ones that are, are, you know, good. Season, season. Season. And they're trained to like, almost like, Oh, I don't want to talk about this. I'm going to look bad. And they'll just change the subject, start talking about something else. But you have to be really quick at the reunion to bring it back. We're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what we were talking about. Hold on. I need you to answer this question that I just asked you because they really a lot of deflection that goes on at the reunion and twists and turns and just like trying to change the subject when they don't want to talk about something. And like, I always make sure to bring it back to whatever question that I had. It's, it's super, super stressful. It's a long day. I feel like, you know, it'll, it'll be 12 PM, 1 PM. And literally we would have only gotten through like 10 questions because by the time you do hair and makeup, by the time you get out there, by the time they set it up, by the time you sit down, he gets through like one quick little round and they're like, it's lunchtime. And then when you get back from lunch, it's the longest 10 hours of your life. Like literally the longest 10 hours. It's about eight to 10 hours after lunch. It's insanity. Yeah. Wow. And Who knows? It could go longer. I hope not. I hope not. I hope we can all just like say what we need to say and go home because it's just, it's a long day. So just know while you guys are taking your little rides in your cars right now and who's ever jogging on the treadmill and you're having yourselves a nice day, we are drowning in reunion shit on the other side. So I'm asking you all, because this will be in real time, to send a little prayer for me, please. Say a little prayer for me right now because I am probably sitting in a hot seat somewhere. What's up, guys? We're all running around these days doing far more than we should each and every day. And we all know how important it is to stay hydrated. Liquid IV is the category winning hydration brand fueling your well-being. And their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. In just one stick, you will get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning, before a workout, when you feel run down, after a long night out, and on long flights. It's amazing. So listen, they come in these little convenient packets and you drop them right into your glass of water and it's been such a time saver for me. They come in all sorts of delicious flavors too, like strawberry, grape, tropical punch, and my personal favorite, which is the lemon lime. So I know I told you guys this already, but really one stick of liquid IV in just 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins. It has B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. And they have three times the electrolytes of traditional, like way too sugary sports drinks. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use my code Melissa at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop for better hydration today using promo code Melissa at liquidiv.com. I'm in a hot seat right now. Want me to talk about it? Say I'm going to tell you this right prayer. now. I want to know for all the women out there that are married and got boyfriends, right? And if I was sitting on a couch, I'm going to tell you a little story. I was sitting on a couch the other night and I was scrolling through TikTok. Right and oh, are you gonna tell this stupid story? There was a girl. There was a girl. Yeah, are on TikTok. On you know, you. I can't help it. This is where the the world we live in. It's 2023. So there's a girl. So I see a picture of a girl. I'm like, whoa, look at this one. And I just I'm looking at her. My wife is sitting behind me. She's sitting. I'm, I'm not sitting behind you. Well, whatever. You were... She walked up behind me. I didn't even know she's sitting behind my shoulder. And she goes, oh, I can't believe you. No, and she starts flipping out. I mean, losing her shit. Yeah, because I watched you. I saw what you were doing. You were scrolling through TikTok and then you were clicking on all the girls. And when I, I, I that's not how it happened. I happened to show, I wanted to show you something on my phone, right? And you're like staring at your phone like a savage. 
and like a savage. Yes. Every time I look at my I, phone, she says the same thing. I went over to you to show you something on my phone, and I noticed like whatever you were watching, the girl was like almost pulling her pants down. So she has a little underwear on, and I'm <laughs> like, they don't show you. And I'm like, what? It's TikTok. The freak is this? Like, what is this? Like, what are you watching? Porn? Like, what is this? <laughs> so I look. He's like, he's like, it's TikTok, and I'm like, wait a second. No. So like in your algorithm, like all the girls who are trying to be sexy and like yeah. pulling down their pants to show you their perfect little ass. That's what you're sitting on the couch watching with your immediate. Like I'm like, me and Antonio are sitting right here. Like you're staring at another woman's ass. Mm-hmm. For all the girls out there, sorry. You guys know that's annoying as hell, and it's just stupid. Like, so I, I sat there with a bunch of my friends who's married, and I said, "Listen, guys, you you guys look at the girls on TikTok. I got I got bitched at. I mean, we had a fight. She ripped me apart. She yelled yeah, I was at me. Like you are she, gross. I, like what, what am is I this? doing wrong? And every guy you're is looking like looking at other women while you're sitting on the couch watching TV with your wife. There's not one guy that didn't say, "No, I look at. It. I even show my wife. Some guys like I show my wife. I talk about. It. I'm like, get out of here. You do. He goes, yeah, and he goes. I'm, and you know what all they right, say? Right, right. I'm, I'm sure your wife, if there was a hot guy on that TikTok, she looked at him. Right? Is yeah. that true? Is yeah. that true? Yeah. Have you looked? Have you looked at hot guys? I know. I don't click on the ones that are doing some freaky shit, like yeah. pulling down. <laughs> like, I don't do that. No, no. If there was a sexy guy, you know, all no, ripped but this up girl was abstract, pulling down her pants and in a very sexual his shirt off. manner. Just, at first, I thought it was like he was on the live and she was, it was like, I'm like, oh, what, yeah, she what, I was on what is this? Like, OnlyFans? Like, what's happening here right now? What am I catching? Like, I, by the way, totally caught him off guard because I just <laughs> jumped <laughs> over to the couch, like, not telling him I was He was coming. like a gazelle. No, but she shot I, over like she was going to eat that. Like yes, but brain. I didn't. You're, you're missing the point here. I didn't even do it purposely. I was really just like, "Oh, Joe, look at this on my phone." Caught the oh, motherfucker God. off guard. He's like, "Oh, oh, oh my God!" His <laughs> no. little finger, his little finger went to X out of it so fast. And then I grab a swan. I'm like, "What the hell are you looking at?" Sure yeah, but, enough, the girl's like, "Oh," I'm like, "Oh, it's TikTok. You can't look at nothing on Tik. It's Tik. The right. world is. Why watching are you watching tic- that? Because it's TikTok. It's meant to be looked at." Just like you look at, I'm sure you All look right, at so a guy. To, if I, I walk by and she's looking at a guy, I just look and keep walking because right, I'm because so I'm confident. Now I'm gonna have I'm permission. I'm confident and secure. Now I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I'm sure you do. Why not? I'm sure you look. I'm sure there's one that. But like, see, I pulls it know. off to the side. Show, like what you were watching was like half a porn. Like it was like. Half like I can watch porn. a guy who pulls his sweatpants down and then there's just like an underwear and a bulge. Like, is that what you want me to look at? I want to hear from all everybody. <laughs> I want you to DM me, shoot me some texts that if it's okay for men to look at TikTok, it's no big deal. It's not like now if I was messaging her, yeah, that's but a what problem. Was, you know, why were, if I was in on a live, that is a problem. Why were you going to like, but click I on? have eyes. I'm allowed to see. Mm-hmm. I am allowed. Why to are watch. you sitting there looking at that on the couch? Excuse- why? Because it was it showed up. I like to look at animals. I really do. I like to watch animals no, fighting don't. each other. I do. And then I like construction. And I also like to watch the, like in India and all these crazy countries how they make this food in these big tubs. And I'm looking, and all of a sudden this hot woman popped up. Boom! Out of nowhere. I'm like, whoa, what is this? And mm, I look. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they're in your algorithm. But you like, know what? I, I was if looking- I look at your homepage, it's all just like pretty girls, workout girl. I'm like, what is going on? Open up on? your home. Open up your let's let's look okay. at yours right on now. My TikTok? I'm dying to see your TikTok homepage. Okay. Let's see what comes up. Here I, we go. Okay. It's not because I never go on her phone. It's I don't look. Man. I don't You're look over free. her shoulder. Hold on. So the explore page. Oh, oh. don't. So the oh, all women. Oh, wait. All no. pretty girls. Look. What is that? I'll just oh, like dance. Different. I'm on TikTok. What is that? I've never seen it like that. This is the explore page. So okay, now go to so... your go to your go to your, like you normally go on. I don't I don't know profile. how. What do you mean TikTok? Go to TikTok like you normally go on and look at stuff. Following. This is what I'm for you. Oh, I get it. Kardashians like this. This what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All housewives stuff. Hold there on, you go. No, you keep going. I scrolled for ten minutes. Like she only scrolled for five. five like things. that's Quick. yours now. Now if we jump, open, jump, jump. hold on. If we open yours right, right now, let's, right let's now. see, right girl, right girl, girl. I'm gonna do girl, it right now. Girl, right now. Girl. Watch, watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna do it right now. There's a girl working out. Yeah, it's on Instagram. Hold on. Okay. Open the wrong thing. I'm gonna open it right now. Let's see here. 
Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh my God. Literally, <laughs> literally a half naked woman. She's naked. That, she's that's naked. not fair. What that is that? I don't know. Okay, I, scroll to the next one. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a guy with a blanket. Look, a man and, and with a blanket. Woman Hold on. Her, and there's a rugby, guy. rugby. He just, oh, he just slammed him on the head. Was, Another girl. No, that girl's showing Hilton. The girl's She's posing. advertising. What's real, this oh, girl? Construction guy. It's See, in your another construction. Oh, food. I like watching food, barbecue. Oh, right. look, basketball. Okay. See? Okay. There was only one girl. That had, I had nothing to do with it. Now, let me see here. Whatever, yeah. girls. My bottom line is, and there's this wasn't just what you were looking at. There was more stuff I or can't something. I don't know. Up the first one. All I know is that his little fingers couldn't move fast enough because he was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, what are you just looking at an ass while we're sitting on the couch? Like, is this normal I mean, I shit? Get like, in trouble. You know what it is with her? She's Melissa is rough. You what? are no, you are. You're rough. You're, Why am I rough? You're very, what girl's gonna you're like that? You're very rough on me. When I'm a very good guy, you're just. You're, How you're, am I rough, you're tough, bro? You make a man crazy. Like I gotta walk. On a fucking street. That's like, right. That's on right. A, I got to walk like walk on a, you know how you walk on a log and you try to balance yourself? Picture that log, a piece of fucking string. All right. That's how I got to walk with this one. She I, is insane. Well, because I just, I wasn't even no planning it. No one knows it. her. Really knows she is tough. Okay. Well, tough. I wasn't even planning it to come and look at you. I, I put just... the cup down. If I put my cup down, if I'm drinking, I put it down. What? Why'd you put your cup down so hard? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, next time I go a little lighter. Well, listen. Speak- Why did you do that? Why did you do this? How did you do this? Wah, wah, wah. Did, did, did okay. this. Oh, my God. He's singing. He's like singing a song now. What do you do? Anyway, speaking of like influencers that you're watching and TikTokers okay. and influencers and all these people, do you? So Co- Coachella is what's going on right now. Yeah. The whole world's at Coachella. Coachella. You've never been, right? No, we've never done never it. Been. We've never done it. And I think because when Coachella got like a thing, we were raising little babies. Like we were, we were, it was our, cause you know, we got, I got married kind of young. So like when everyone was out there in the desert doing their thing and going to these like concerts and shows, like I was, I feel like I was home with little babies and it, and it keeps going and going, but we never went. Why have we never done? Oh, cause we're not, we don't live in California. I guess in California, be- but I, don't, I, I don't think. You would be into Coachella. It's mostly outside. It's kind of like dirty, grungy, right? You're walking, you're sweating all the time. That's not you, man. You're, you're fucking bougie. No, I, I'll be uh, honest. You're, you're, I, I you're... look at the crowds of people and just like, and I love a good concert, right? We just got tickets to Janet Jackson. We're going to a Janet Jackson concert, at, but like we're going in a suite at MSG <laughs> and like, that's my vibe, right? Like, I don't know that I could walk around Coach- Coachella and like love it. Like I'd be all about. What am I going to wear? I would stress about the outfit and like want the picture. And then I'm like, all right, this is fun. Let's go home because. Yeah, she would. She won't be into it. I, I, we, I took her to New Orleans. We went to New Orleans. Ooh, and, hey, it and, wasn't my thing. And it was Mardi Gras going on and it was awesome, man. Everybody's outside. I mean, it was, it was a little grungy, right? It was. Well, that's what it is. Walking outside. barefoot, yeah. dirty. Um, Drunk, just, drunk, drunk everywhere, partying. I liked it because I liked the culture. You walked into this restaurant. I got crowfish. Right? Crowfish, oh, crowfish, yeah. crow, crawfish, 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 crawfish. I don't even know what it is. I don't think it's a crow. I think it's a crawl. Crawfish? Yeah. Crawfish. <laughs> I mean, I loved all the I didn't. Even, I didn't even try a Melissa crawfish. Like, get me to a restaurant that I could sit down with air conditioning. And yeah, like I remember saying to the lady. bottle of wine and, you know, and I was like, I was living it up. I, I remember saying to the woman like, hi, so which one is your most high end <laughs> restaurant? Yeah. She's like, oh, that one right there. I'm like, that one? She's like, yeah. She's like, like, they don't do it like that there. It's like a party, you know? And so I just, I don't know if I would love Coachella just because I get anxiety around large groups of people. I do. Like, even if we go to like, when I used, when I went to one of your shows, even in Atlantic City, right? And it was like crowds of people that came out after. I had a little mini anxiety attack. Like, I get nervous around huge crowds. So we, if we went to Coachella, right? Melissa would be the girl that would be in, like, say, one room that's air conditioned, having a <laughs> glass of champagne, hanging out, chilling, right? There is and no. And I will be the guy that's, the guy that's getting thrown on through the crowd. You know where they pick the guy for the concerts, and and they're just pushing me around with their hands, and I'm just riding the, yeah, the crowd. Yeah, you're so cheesy, I'm and like, you, yes. you let people like put doing their shots and living life, and and, and yeah, be you happy. get yourself in trouble like that.
Guys, we all know the hassle of going to the gym, right? Whether it's the time it takes to get there, changing in and out of clothes in a shared locker room, or just finding people that match your speed. Either way, it's never convenient and it always seems like a chore. Well, at least to me it does. And that's why I'm here to tell you about Peloton. Peloton is more than just a bike company. They actually make all sorts of home exercise equipment. So you can discover a whole new world of exciting classes that change working out from another dreaded task to something you actually like and want to stick with. And no matter where you're starting from, Peloton's expert instructors, who guys, I love them so much. They're there to guide you with contagious energy that you can like feel and supportive instruction at every level to really take the guesswork out of working out. I use my Peloton constantly, guys, and I'm literally addicted to it. It's one of my best workouts I get all week. Try Peloton Tread, Row, or Bikes risk-free with a 30-day home trial. New members only, not available in remote locations. See additional terms at onepeloton.com slash home dash trial. So who out there gets home after a long day and just doesn't have time or the patience to decide on a meal, prep it, and then cook it? Seriously, we've all been there probably every single week for me. Okay, well, here's where HelloFresh comes in to help us out. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime for you guys this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy-to-prepare recipes right to your door. So listen, we're going to skip the checkout lines and get outside into the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. And guys, HelloFresh is not the same old meal each time. There's so much variety and there's so many options for everyone because they offer over 40 different recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenient items to choose from every single week. HelloFresh has saved Joe and I so much time away from the grocery store and even in the kitchen. And their instructions are so easy to follow. Even Joe can do it, guys, which is like pretty unbelievable. Seriously, if you're not a pro in the kitchen, HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and they're so easy to prepare in just a few steps. Anyone can do it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash OnDisplay50 and use code OnDisplay50 and you guys are going to get 50% off plus your first box is going to ship free. That's right, guys. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash OnDisplay50 and use code OnDisplay50 for 50% off plus your first box is going to ship free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Remember our friend? Oh, we had one TikTok thing happen. Our friends, we were with another couple and this TikTok video of you, Joe, got pushed around like crazy. Everybody was DMing it to me like, go find your man. Like, what's your man doing? Meanwhile, we were with a couple that are are friends of ours and he was videoing her take a shot off you guys. You you didn't say it the right way. You didn't say it the right way. We were with, we were with nine couples um, in Bahamas. Right. We're all hanging out and just husbands and wives and we're having a good time and we we haven't seen these people in over a year and every time we see them we see them on vacation we set up a vacation and they're a party crew yeah they're our party crew but good people great people moms great and dads people. and and um i take um i put a shot glass i don't know how, why i did it. i put it on my chest yeah, and why i squeeze much because i got a big chest <laughs> oh my and the husband is videoing me and, and his wife Grabs the shot from my chest and she does a shot. And he's like, yes, her husband, we all hug. It was great. Melissa was watching. Everybody's watching. And, um, we were kind of laughing. The tree huggers took it and ran with it on, um, on, uh, Instagram and social well, media. I mean, yeah. And like people TikTok. were like, look at Joe Gorga. Look at Joe Gorga. What's he, where's Melissa? Meanwhile, I was standing right there watching the two, the two people he was doing it with were a husband and a wife. No, we are not swingers. No, don't even ask. We're so anal and ups, like, jealous i would like to be the swinger but nobody could touch my wife yeah i would swing you're never gonna swing (laughs) but nobody can touch her it's never happening so it's like you want to try it no do you you do not i know you're just lying don't try like like a a variety of things and i'm getting older now (laughs) but the bottom ew okay go ahead but the variety (laughs) the the it was so crazy how tiktok just tiktok girls took it TikTok just took it in another direction and made it like some 
crazy thing, but that's nobody knows that I was standing there. They were a married couple. We were all just having fun. We were tipsy, definitely. But I don't even know what. Can I just ask you, though, like, what even made you do that? Like, I've never seen you do something like that before. Like, let me put a shot between my chest and this girl is going to like, what even made you do something? I have no idea. Like, people ask me, leaving on the show, what made you um, wax John food his chest. What made you do well, all these things? Well, because he's straight up show? so hairy. Like I want to wax the yeah, guy's but, chest. But no, people always ask me, what made do you think of these? No, I do not think of this stuff. It's a last minute thing. And it just comes to me and I just do it. I mean, I, well, I you definitely thought of waxing John food. You wanted to, no, I it. thought about it the night before. That's yeah. all. It was quick, but if, um, I wonder if he keeps his. Sh- we know we've discussed this already on the podcast, but like, is he still shaven? I don't no, because know. you get um, you get what do you call them? So ingrown, hair. ingrown hairs. <laughs> I yeah. destroyed him. Oh, it's you got- destroyed him. But yeah. anyway, do you think we'd ever one day go to Coachella? Do you think that's something we would ever want to do or I do? Think we should try it in the uh, desert. But I want like a really sick house out there. Then that like this is like stay at Kyle's. She has like a really great crazy house out there that's awesome and everybody was talking about frank ocean so he did this set on sunday night and everyone's saying it was like the worst coachella act in like history they wanted their money back like it was like yeah it was so so bad bad. i know who's who's frank frank ocean Ocean. yeah he's he's a he's a a guy joe he's a guy yeah and he's and he had a bad act yeah see i'm not into that man i want everybody to succeed i feel terrible yeah, it was bad. Yo, hands out to you, Frank Oceans, man. Don't worry about it. Pick your head up. Joe's, Joe, no, I'm pick your head up. Mad him for that, Joe. Mad I'm for mad that it Why? was bad. But he wasn't in the mood to do it. Is was he did it on purpose or he didn't do it on purpose? Was he it tired. Just, it just didn't work out. I mean, I mean, sometimes you can't listen. You're human, man. It just happens. Oh right? yeah, he had a bad night, or the whole thing was just. What's like the? What do you think is the worst act? Have we ever gone anywhere and we were like this sucked? Like a play or like. A oh, yeah. concert I plays. I sleep at all times. You do. Know. You're the worst. Yeah, You'll be I front just... row with your eyes closed, like sound asleep. I'm the rudest son of a bitch. I don't mean to, but I sleep. I, I, yeah, I... It's terrible. You got to stop. But there was a, there was a, there was a play. We went in Vegas and it was this uh, trampoline act. in. The oh, water. I loved that. You didn't that like that? That was amazing. Yes. That they, wasn't a play. They were honey. diving from 600 feet air into the water. And then you, they disappeared. You never saw them again. Yeah, that they was um, underground. Cirque then... Soleil, like it was a type of Cirque Soleil. Amazing, amazing. You know, Bravo Con's in Vegas this year. Oh yeah, Bravo Con in Vegas. Could you imagine? I'm actually, I don't know how I feel about it. If I'm being honest, I because love Vegas. I'm good. I loved the New York City vibe. People walking on the streets. It's Bravo Con. Then Vegas announced Close that it's also game. like their NASCAR like show or something. So they're gonna close down. The whole entire like main strip right there too, which would be like insanity because no one's going to be able to, I I just don't know. I feel like it's going to be, I mean, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm also like, we have to fly to the other side of the country. Like I liked it better right here in New York. I know it's not really fair to the California people because they don't get it. They don't get to go. Right. But like, I don't know. I like it it because I like the party. Yeah. But like, you're going to gamble the whole time we're there. Spend every dollar we make at at BravoCon. No, no, no. no. Yeah, what's no. your favorite game? What do you gamble? Blackjack, blackjack, craps. I used to be, I used to be a, a heavy gambler uh, when I first met Melissa, and we went on our honeymoon. Remember this? Oh my god! We just got married, and you know I was one of those guys. I worked. I was making money, so I like to gamble. And I, I really. Yeah, but did. your hobby, I have to say, you didn't have like hobbies. You're not like a golfer. You're not the guy that's like, oh, I go here with my boys on a Sunday. Like your thing was like you like to gamble. Luckily, I didn't have a hobby because she would have shut that down anyway. (laughs) Melissa's tough. She's tough. Yeah, what are you saying? Because if we can go back and forth and I could talk about how tough you are. (laughs) You're tough. If if I had a hobby, you would be like, nope. Where are you going? I'm like, yo, I want to go play baseball with the guys. You're like, no, no, no. Stay home. (laughs) She wants me all the time. She does. My God. Anyway, he did teach me how to gamble. He did. He taught me how to play blackjack. Yes. Um, and I think like I had such beginner's luck the first couple of times we played, like I won Always everything won. and I was keeping all the chips in my purse, all of it. And I was just collecting them. And at the time I was 24 years old. I was like, Oh, I'm going to make my car payment. I just made $800. Like she I was betting and she, I, 
I was betting five hundred a hand. Melissa was betting twenty five dollars a hand, fifteen dollars, and no, you were betting like a hundred, two hundred. Sometimes she'd put it up high because yeah, five, she felt good. Eight hundred, and at the end of the day, she had more money than me. But but on our honeymoon, my purse was filled always. And I'm on my on our honeymoon, and we were just married. I lost all the cash because the first day it rained. Remember, babe? Yeah, it, it rained. rained, and we just gambled the whole day. We gambled the whole... No, we didn't even gamble the whole day. We gambled like an hour, and I lost all our cash, and we had no cash. So then I'm like, oh, my God. But we had a credit card, but you couldn't get a cash advance from the hotel. You had to go to the American Express yes. building yeah. so in the Bahamas. He took all of my money, too, all of my chips. He's like, I got to get those chips because I got to make the money back. Yeah. And now we were like, well, we have no cash. Like, we had only an American Express with us. And American Express, you can't, like, get cash out of unless you go to the embassy. And then they'll give you a total of, like, 2000 or something. And we were like, but why didn't so we need cash? I don't get ca- it. Uh, the, the reason why we needed cash, because every night after dinner, you gamble. And it was the first night, and I lost everything. So we had no oh money. Oh, my God. So you wanted more cash. I was, I'm thinking, wait, can't we just charge it to the room? Like, no, what's the problem? Because then after dinner, remember, we, we go out, we go oh to dinner, God, then we go gamble. Savage back then. So like, that, he was like, we have to get more cash. So we were we got on a taxi, and we were trying to find this American Express building. And then we went there. And I know at the time, they only gave us $1,000 cash I advance. feel like it was like a limit. And yeah. it was like I put her on this little voyage, right? We were on like this uh uh um this 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 challenge to find this place it took us like three four hours yeah, by the time we got back, so much time we, we oh wasted the time but anyway at the end of the day you owe me a honeymoon you owe me a, a honeymoon you owe me a honeymoon i think that's fair to say you ruined our honeymoon I understand. you kind of did I'm you like, owe me a honeymoon I'm, so i've given you the best honeymoon let's say for our that. 20th wedding anniversary i get a new honeymoon which is is it this summer or next summer next summer and i choose Positano. Posit- oh, okay. done, done. I do that for you. Capri. But at the end of the day, I, I, never, I never lose. But that day wasn't it wasn't happening for me. It really wasn't. Ah. But you know what? One, I'm going to tell you what one. You got me. Oh, that's score. That's what one. She she hit the jackpot, baby. You did. On Display with Melissa Gorga is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Most of you listening right now are probably multitasking. Yep, while you're listening to me talk, you're probably also driving, cleaning, exercising, or maybe even just grocery shopping. But if you're not in some kind of moving vehicle, there's something else that you can be doing right now. Getting an auto quote from Progressive Insurance. It's easy and you could save money by doing it right from your phone. Drivers who save by switching to Progressive save nearly $700 on average. And auto customers qualify for an average of seven discounts. Discounts for having multiple vehicles on your policy, being a homeowner, and so much more. So just like your favorite podcast, Progressive will be with you 24-7, 365 days a year, so you're protected no matter what. Multitask right now. Quote your car insurance at Progressive.com to join the over 29 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National average 12-month savings on $698 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2021 and May 2022. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations. All right, I want to play a little game with you now that we're talking about Coachella. I I have to ask you these things, okay? Because I think this is really funny. So, and I know you are so non like pop culture whatsoever. Like you're just not a pop culture guy, yeah. and I and you're not. You don't know the names of any bands, but no. like some of the names of the bands at Coachella are so insane, Joe. Like the, these names are crazy. So I'm going to I'm going to name a bunch of them. You're going to tell me if I'm naming you a real one or a fake one, okay? All right. Okay, right? Wet leg. Ooh, wet leg. That's a real one. Correct. It's real. Yeah, see? Wet leg. That's a, I like I like that name, wet leg. Mama pancakes. Mama pa- fake. I mean, it's fake, but there's one called Uncle Waffles. Uncle Waffles. Yes, yeah, like that's the name of the band. It's Uncle Waffles. I don't like that. Name. You can watch Uncle Waffles over That's at terrible. Coachella. Twenty-seven minutes late. That's real. No, it's fake. That's fake. Yeah, I got you. Idris Elba. 
eat yourself, but who the hell would listen to that? No, no. that's a famous actor. He's he's like a great actor. Oh, is he? Yes. And and that's his fan? actually him who's doing it. Yes. Is he good? I is guess. it him? I've He's never the watched, I've never watched him perform, wow. but like I've I All know right. him on movies, and I think he's great. All right, my movie. brother, no disrespect. <laughs> I love your name. Who made who? Who made who? I like that. That's a band. It's real. Real. Yeah. Uh, Midnight Carnival ride. Midnight Carnival. I like that. It's like when you go on a midnight uh, Ferris wheel and you True kiss. Or real or fake? And you kiss on the. I like that. It's real. No, it's fake. Oh, wow. okay. But I mean, there is one called Sunset Roller Coaster. So I like you that like one. a little sun- I like sunset. The sunset. Yeah, get on a roller coaster. You hug. You get a little closer. It's scary. Oh my, oh my god. god, we're talking about bank you. names, not sexual encounters. Yeah, those were the good old days. Okay, ready? Hot since eighty two. Hot since eighty two. Real or fake? Real. Good uh, dinner party. Real yeah. or fake? Dinner. I mean, I like it. I like it. I say real. It is real. Yeah. DJ tennis. DJ Tennis? That doesn't matter. No. No, it's real. There's a DJ Tennis. Really? What the hell does that mean? DJ Tennis? Yeah. DJ, he, DJ Tennis on plays- the ones and twos. <laughs> How about the real DJs of Seattle? Yes. No, that's fake. That sucked. <laughs> I just I thought it was real because it was DJs of Seattle. What about um? What about No Name? No Name? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of catchy because, like, listen, man, I don't have a name. No Name. Okay. Real. Uh, yeah, it's real. Yeah, <laughs> you're not. I knew you don't know bands. Like, I barely. I know, I like, are you excited to go see Janet Jackson with me? Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm excited to do anything with you. You okay? Because I love you. Oh my god! You I don't do. answer a question. I do me. love you, even though yeah, I love you. But, uh, you know, but you're uh, looking uh, hot right now. You are. I'm in sweat. I'm like in. I like hands. it when you're. In Wait, are I like do it you when you're dressed? I like it when you're like not if you dressed. can go see anybody you wanted, like I know it's not Janet probably for you. See? Yeah. Melissa Gorga on display. Oh my god, today with him. I'm serious. Who would you want to see? I just said it. You know who I think no, you would want to see? Lionel Richie. Really? We did go or see him and he was Lionel great. Richie and Puccelli. Yeah. I knew that's what you're gonna say. I do because Pacelli's just—it's just romantic. It's nice. It's he, Italian. He a little bit English. With it's Salib amazing. Dion and Pia. Amazing. A lot. Yep. He's like amazing. I like to listen to music, but really get into it and relax and like just. You're more of like a chill. Like you're an old soul. Like I feel like even when I met you at 28 years old, you had like this old soul. You wanted to listen to like old school music. Meanwhile, I was like in the clubs, like. Bopping up and down. You were nothing. You were. You, I was in the you, clubs. Yes, you were, I was. You were an old soul. When it, uh, when you, when when you met me, I knocked your feet right off your body. You wait. Like, that's not. You knock amazing. your socks off. That's the saying. You oh, knock your. I knocked right. your socks off. Okay, I knocked your socks right off your body. You were like this guy's amazing. But you were an old soul. You were boring a little bit. You were more chill. I was where boring. I wanted See, to go you out. Just confused boring with chill. There's that's well, like, you. Don't, and then that was even before baby years. And then baby years, you, you were like in mommy mode. Yeah. Well, when you and have that, babies, then you're really boring. Like yeah. I would say you just, you tired. You got to get up early in the morning. Yeah, and like, I remember I used to want to go out and you're like, no. And we used to sit home. And and then then now you're not like that anymore. Okay, Joe. I mean, all right. Thank you for playing that game. And because I won. You didn't win. You lost. No, no. And because you lost. No, 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 no. I won. After the reunion, you're going to owe me a nice NY dinner. A no, nice New York dinner. I thought I won. There was more yeses than noes. I won. Um, I don't think you won. I I, I won. You know what? You might have won. Fine. Um, What do you, you I want? I massage. Massage? I knew you were going to say that. Do you know I knew you were going to say that? Like, if we had to bet on, like, if we had to win or lose in this house, you would always choose a massage as your... Now, when's the last time you've given me a massage? I'm really not into that because like, it hurts my hands. <laughs> not it? Oh, my God. It hurts my hands. My hands are very weak. I can't, like, you're, you're like you're strong. And, like, I feel like it's, like, Proceed. I'd rather walk on your back. Like, I like when you lay down, I can walk on your back. If you'd like that. I would love a massage. Oh, my God. Well, the last thing I'm going to say about Coachella is that my girl, Ariana, she was there with her new man. So get it, girl. Ariana Ariana from Vanderpump Rules, the one that got cheated on, babe. Whoa. By the boy in the mustache. And you know what? Now she's not thinking about the boy in the mustache. She's running around with a new man, having herself, uh, getting herself a little fun time. Hold on, wait, wait. She got a a boyfriend or a man? Like just a. Oh, it's not. It looks like it's a man as of now. It's like a, it's a guy. I don't think it's that serious. Yeah, sure. He is. is. Yes. He's handsome. Yes. 
And I think that she's going to live her best life right now. But he, didn't she... he has no mustache, which is a but, bonus. But what, what, educate me on this. She didn't like sex, right? Or something like that. No, or it's not that like she didn't body? like it. They just said that they didn't have a lot of it. Like they weren't. But they... was it because of her? Like, um, what was I the feel deal? I don't know. They were more of like comfortable. They were very comfortable with each other. They were more of like roommates, so to speak, best friends. And like, I think he went obviously and found his passion elsewhere and not at home. So it was turning into like one of those jams. And so she, which is not an excuse to cheat ever. No, he should have just broke up. Right. He should have just, just broke up. That's with the her. case. I'll be honest. If I'm dating you, we're not having sex intimacy. And that's what I like. I mean, and, and we're not even married. No, you got to leave. It's done. I mean, uh, even though I might love you, but I'm going to say, listen, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. If, if it's happening now, what's going to happen later? So right. we can't be together. No, I believe. I wouldn't want to hurt you that way. And this is for all the single couples out there, too. Like, I do believe, and you're dating or whatever, attraction, I, and, and like, it's not everything at all. You need to have intellectual conversation. You have to have the same values, the same morals. You have to want the same amount of kids and all that, right? Like, you have to be on the same page with like how you want to live your life. But like attraction, I'm sorry, it is important. And unfortunately, now you got lucky of, in all those a- aspects. Right? A lot of people will look at it as if it's not <laughs> important, but it is because your eye will wander yeah. <laughs> if you're not attracted. Right, I agree. Like right? you got lucky, you're attracted. We're not talking about us. I got Why great personality. To us. I'm sweet. I got I give you I'm I'm, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm like, <laughs> okay, Dal, but like I'm just saying, am I right about that? Like the attraction is a uh, huge part of a relationship. Attraction, personality. When I met you, it it was attraction at first, but then you were cool. You were chill. You really were. You were fun. Um you were I remember I want I had things to do and you're like, go ahead, I, I'm good. I'll stay home. I'll sit in a jacuzzi and what? Yeah, and you would watch, you would watch sports. Oh my God, me. Joe, we're not going down memory. No, I'm just saying you'd but... sit there and watch sports with me. Now you're like, take that shit off. So, uh, no, but it, All right, no, so you... what we're saying is love is not necessarily blind, right? Which goes with love that. Is, listen, everything. It's, a, it's not a just attraction. You got to get along. You got to get along and enjoy each other. I agree. And but like, I think fun. it starts with attraction, right? You can't, of course. Right? Yeah. Cause you see each other somewhere. That's our, that's our Starbucks. relationship advice for the week. Um, what are we going to do tonight? By the way, we're going to eat. I'm tired tonight. We're going to eat balsamic chicken. Yeah, um, I, I want white yeah. balsamic. So I, 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 we're marinating chicken in the white balls. JJ zone. Shout out to JJ zone. The oh, best yes. salad dressings and marinades there are. Like they are so delicious, guys. No, I like to like, yes. this is like a public service announcement. So great. So we're marinating in the white He's balsamic the tonight so we could eat a little healthy. We're going to have a little salad on the side. And are we going to put back our show tonight? Do you want to tell them what we've been watching? Yeah. we're gonna, before my, Then I get my massage and then we put our show on. <laughs> okay. But tell them what we've been watching. We're so into it. Oh, there's a great show on, guys. You got to tune into no, everyone it. Everyone saw it already. But us, we're oh. so late to the game. You have no idea. Everyone saw this, it? This like, came out like, during the pandemic in 2020. Oh. Joe and I just started watching Dirty John, guys. Where the hell have I just now. This like, show is unbelievable. Joe's obsessed. I'm not going to lie. How many episodes would you say we watched in a row yesterday? Like eight. No, more than that. <laughs> no, more than that. I think 12. <laughs> like couch potatoes yesterday. And it was like one o'clock in the morning. It was I was like, Sunday. put it all on. It was Sunday. We literally watched. It wasn't Sunday. It was it Sunday. Was, it, was it was Sunday, Sunday that we did that. Yes. We watched like eight episodes no, no, in a row. That. More than that. It got, it was like one o'clock. Antonia jumped and she oh. was all in it. Like, yeah. It was, it's so crazy, guys, to watch this. Like, I know everyone, most people have saw this show. Like, we're late, but like, I love it. Like, I found it so intriguing how she's so submissive to him and like vulnerable. And like, he was such a snake. And like, you want to, he was so charming, right? It's like, you want to believe him. But then it's like, he was like his twists and his turns. And I was getting so mad when he, this guy is like, in like not injecting the patients with their pain medicine and he's taking it home so he can do the drugs. It happens every day. And, oh it my God. And the, and the patients day. are like, I feel the pain. Oh my God. I was dying. I know. That's, I mean, it was just, it's, it's wild, man. And, and could you imagine just like having someone like that in your life where it's like, you don't, you don't know him, right? She just meets them. They start dating. Yep. They go on a date and now she's warped in with this guy who she has really no idea who he is. Cause he totally lied about her. 
like yeah, but shame about. on her. I, shame on her. You know why? Because she has money. She didn't need anyone like that. I know, but life. she didn't want him for the money. She's actually trying to take care of him. She was totally like falling in love. He was a good time. She went on. They showed her going on many dates and like. So go on many more. He, no, he took. No, she didn't know. You're missing the point. Uh, I, she didn't know this guy was like that. Then she up went, until like, you know, six episodes in. Right. Yeah, but when she found out, then you got to listen. Hey, I live one life. Well, she's a forgiving, nice girl. She wanted to forgive him. She probably fell in love with him. She didn't know what to do. Found out that he's nothing that he says he is. I mean, guys, it's it's like I'm ready to go watch another episode as soon as we eat dinner. I'm going. I want to see the next one. Yeah, this he was he's uh he was a professional man. He knew what he was doing. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, he was like like, for real. He got everyone, every woman. He got everybody, even lawyers. He was he was even resuing the lawyers. They all believed him. Everyone believed who he was. And he's good. Like, even when he was talking, I'm like, damn, he is kind of charming. Like, but I wonder where, where he was putting the money when he was stealing all this money. Where They didn't show where, where, where no, was he putting they didn't. He was like hiding. He didn't have a car at his age. He didn't have a car. He manipulated her to take her car. Got her to buy him. They like, moved in her house, her new apartment. How about the part when uh, Dirty John, he starts calling the daughter's job. And he's putting out all the social media stuff and all these bad reviews to ruin the, the oh, daughter's reputation. I know. That's that's horrible. Like, he goes right to the daughter, like the family. He goes right to the kid. And he's trying to ruin everybody around him because they knew who he was. Yeah, the ones who called him out were yeah. the ones he was trying to ruin. Yeah, this guy was, like, very manipulated. He's he's a son of a bitch, man. He really was. And you know what? He's going to, you know, get crazy. Well, we haven't I'm, seen the ending yet, so I'm dying to I'm know. Dying to keep, I'm, I, I'm just going to keep watching. That's what I want to do. We're watching tonight. You know, there's a lot of people out there like that. Just saying. Like, a lot there of really people is. out there like that. There yeah. is. And that's some craziness to think yeah. that, like, and it, that's crazy. I mean. They, when you first meet them, they're like, you think, oh, wow, this guy's a great guy, you know, and it's pretty and crazy. Boom. They become like Dirty John. And then, boom, they're like nothing you thought that. It would be. So anyone out there, DM me if you watch Dirty John, if you have any opinions on Dirty John, because let me just tell you, I am loving it. And if you haven't seen it yet and you're like Joe and I, who are such late bloomers, um, you definitely need to check it out. I mean, it really does show. I think I think it shows you that people can only get away with these cons for so long until the truth finally comes out right so it's like he eventually got caught by everyone you can only con people for so long until the truth like always comes out listen it might not come out in a year or two or three it always comes out no matter what it is it's it's faith like listen babe i've been loving you for so long nothing's coming out because i love you Oh my God. Well, I, like, I think we yeah. all know you. I think I know you. It's been 20 years. So like, I, if you turn into some crazy con man now, it's going to be weird. No, you know, I, 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 you I, are I, turning into like, you're having like a midlife crisis. Or so here we go. She said that to me this morning. She's like, you go I feel like no, Joe I'm goes not. through little things, like little things. Like you just want to like, Why? cause I was looking at a girl on TikTok. Or well, girl. that's weird. <laughs> that is weird. And like, that's got to be done. You got to get that out of your algorithm. <laughs> it's like weird. But anyway, hopefully we're we're doing a good job right now at the reunion. And because that's where we'll be while everyone's listening to this. And, you know, just setting the record straight and explaining our feelings and where where we came from all season. I I do hate the reunion. I dread it. But I also love the fact that you get to press reset with your relationships and reset on like what's going on and like start a new fresh year that is going to come and it's just or a new oh. fresh season now i should say reunion oh my god pray for us ready yes padre fio spiro dosando amen help us please in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. bye guys we love you bye
pick up that glass of Pinot Grigio, your drink of choice, and come have some fun with us on Turtle Time. We're going to do more than just drink and party on this podcast, Mom. I know, I know. Okay, if you don't know who I am, well, I'm Ramona Singer, and that's my daughter, Avery. And you probably know us best from the Real Housewives of New York. And now you'll get to know us even better on our podcast, Turtle Time. Let's make more iconic moments together every Wednesday. It's Turtle Time. Follow, rate, and review now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. See what's screaming all month long during Pluto TV's April Ghouls. Watch hauntingly good movies like Evil Dead and Cloverfield, or terrifying shows like The Walking Dead and Nosferatu. Plus, Pluto TV has hundreds of channels with thousands more movies and TV shows. Available on live and on demand. Download the free Pluto TV app on all your favorite devices. Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never.